give me a count now, three, two, one. Go. Right, here's the battery. Contacts for it under there. Fit into this socket here. Nicely recessed so that it's waterproof. Put the battery in. As you notice, I've not even put it properly on, but there we go, it's properly on with the key locked it in. Immediately, the lights turn on, as you see. Now, if I take the controller off, normally the controller, if you hold the controller on, on button for five seconds, it turns on. As you see, it, this, it has done. The bottom switch here is the light switch. And if I hold that in for two seconds, the lights come on. When that LCD, backlit LCD comes on, that should turn the lights on. When I turn all this off in again, that will turn off. This should turn off as well. The lights front and back should turn off. No, nope. LCD still on there. Lights are still on. Press that again, hold it in. LCD comes on, lights should turn on, but they're already on. And they don't turn off either. When the LCD, can you see that the LCD is on there? If you come in, you can see that the LCD is on there, yeah? Yeah. Oh, excellent, brilliant. Right, if you put it back off again, uh, I'll remove this so immediately as I've taken slid that off it's turned itself off but what you can see is the lights are on still so the only way of turning the lights off now is by disconnecting the battery I can turn the light the front light off on its own switch as it has an off switch on the back of it but the only way of turning the back light off is with the key taking the battery out as you see so when two mechanics cannot find the faults that have been described to them and I can I'm not no, no bike mechanic but I'm not trying to lie about any work that does or doesn't need doing on my bike, it clearly needs doing and it should clearly be under warranty. No breaking this cable, otherwise this light wouldn't go on. What can I say? That's not 